Good afternoon. We're going to be looking at a little bit of how to add in the program MathPad Plus. Adding with borrowing. And the first thing, when we open it up, will appear the list of names. So whether you've got a student or a class, I'm just going to click my name, Judy, and as the student. Now, I'm going to start somewhere in the middle of the page, just so that there's lots of room. And this is the grid sheet worksheet view. And at this point, that's all I'm going to need. Now, I do have speech on so that I can have some auditory feedback. So, I want to put in an adding question. So, let's put in 56 plus 7. So, initially it goes in the horizontal view, which I could leave it there, but I'd like to have it in a vertical view. And that's where I'll go right here. I'm going to click on HV and it makes it in a vertical view. Now, now I can do some of the adding. Automatically, the box auto-navigates to where I need to put an answer. So, 6 plus three, 7, and now I could use the calculator to help me do that, or add it up in my head, or put little visuals here, or numbers to help me add, but let's put the box back here and that there would be a 3 because the answer would be 13. I'll put my 3 there, but now I need to somehow carry and get the 1 up to there. This is where we use this little button. It's called regrouping. So I'm going to click that and it goes right up above the 5. And I'll put in my 1 and the box Audibly, automatically navigates down to where the answer should be. 5 plus 1 is 6. The answer is 63. I'd like to check my work. So up here, I'm going to check the check mark. 63, correct. correct. And now I've completed the adding question. That's how to add in MathPad Plus. Let's look at subtraction as well, because it's very similar. So that's my first question. And I'm going to go to File New. I'm going to save this question because it's one that I've completed. And it will automatically bring it up. I've created my name when I logged in. And I'm going to name that Add, Adding, and that's number one. And save. So I'll have my list. So now I'm on the next problem. And I'm going to put in a subtraction question. So. This is going to be subtraction with regrouping. Now, I'm going to put in the number 68, 68. subtract Minus. 29 Minus. equals. And again, just like before, I could leave it in the horizontal view, but I want it to be aligned. So this is where I'm going to use this view, horizontal, horizontal vertical. vertical. Now, it's saying 8 take away 9, which I can't do. I'm going to need to do some borrowing. So this is where I'll use this little one. It's called the regroup button. And with the box being here, when I click the regroup, it automatically goes up above where it should. And that's where I'm going to put the number. I'm going to borrow a group of 10. So taking a group of 10 away from the 6 would make it 5. It automatically crosses it out and puts the little box above the 8, which I'll put 1 because I borrowed a group of 10. Now, 18 take away 9. Now, I could use the calculator and help me out. 18 take away 9 if I need to. And there's the answer written fully for me to see. So. I'm going to put down below here that the answer is 9. nine. And now 5 take away 2 is 3. three. I want to check my work. I'm going to go to the check mark. OK, the answer is 39. There. So that's a quick overview of how to do a basic adding and subtracting question in MathPad Plus. Thanks for joining, and we will um, see you in the videos for multiplying and dividing.